Well, joining me now with reaction to all this is former Arkansas governor and former presidential candidate, the great Mike Huckabee. Uh, Gov, good to see you. So, here, I mean, here you have, you know, poor businesses. The, the cost of goods are going up because of inflation. They have, you know, theft going on in their stores. And then they have to cut down hours of employees, which affects the service of their customers. They're getting hit at every different turn. And, and here we used to celebrate small businesses that take the risk of starting a business um, and trying to live the American dream. And, and, and no one's helping them no matter where they turn. Sean, every single American is a victim of crime, whether they think about it yeah. or not. And they may not be held up by gun or knife, but they're a victim of crime because they're paying more money because merchants are having to add the cost, not just of the shrinkage of the merchandise that's stolen, but also the insurance rates for every business goes up when crime goes up. People don't stop and think about that, but there's only one way for a business to deal with it, pass the cost to the consumer. So if you're an American, you don't have to get hit in the head with the wine bottle in order to be a victim of crime. You are one already. The tragedy is a lot of us are getting hit in the head with blunt objects or stabbed or shot. And it's just a dangerous place. We've got to do something. And this next election is the first good opportunity to do it. Governor, I, I agree with you. Elections matter and policies with policing matter. But it seems like something else is going on. You're a pastor. It seems like there's, there's been a breakdown in civil society where you have people today that'll take a wine bottle and, and conk someone over the head where it seems like those things weren't happening 30, 40, 50 years ago. Something's changing in our society. Am I wrong? When you raise kids to believe that there are no consequences for their actions, they can take what they want, uh, that nobody is going to hold them accountable. If they do commit a violent crime, they'll be on the street in two hours. Why wouldn't they go ahead and do whatever they want? We have a breakdown of the family, a breakdown in the basic moral code. These are people who are not being raised by mothers and fathers who explain to them, you just don't behave that way. They're not getting that basic lesson that many of us got, which was do unto others as you would have them do unto you that fundamental uh, Judeo-Christian value that used to be a centerpiece of our society. So now you have people who are doing unto others before they do it unto you. This is not a left-right issue. This is not horizontal. It's not Democrat-Republican. Look, this is good versus evil, and there's no other way to look at this. I'm not saying Republicans are the good guys, Democrats are the bad guys. What I am saying is Republicans had better line up for the good guys and the Democrats need to quit lining up with the bad guys because that's what's happening. And this is an up and down vertical issue. It's either good or it's going to be evil. Right now, evil is winning and it can't keep going on. You know, Greg, you think you can take God out of society and there's no consequence. I think right now you see the consequences of removing God and faith out of society. There's, there's not a moral compass, and especially when you don't have parents that are you know, giving guidance and direction to their, to their, to their kids. But White House Press Secretary uh, Karine Jean-Pierre, she was dodging Fox's Peter Ducey's question today on whether the president thinks that American cities are safe. I want you to take a listen to this. Does President Biden think America's big cities are safe? Can you say more? Well, we know that thefts and robberies are up about 20 percent in the first half of this year. So I'm wondering if he thinks America's big cities are safe. It is not. It is not a. Um, it is not a yes or no question. It is very much a question of what has he done. That's how we see the question. Gov, it's not a yes or no question. It's about what the president has done or not done. What's your response to uh, what the press secretary had to say to Peter Ducey? I've never seen someone play dodgeball so effectively, but be so ineffective at answering questions. It's honestly embarrassing to see what she says. Her team is clearly losing. If this were football, they're down 56 to nothing. And she comes out and says, boy, don't those band uniforms look good? And the concessions sure are tasty. We're, she's dodging the basic question. Is this country safe? It's a simple question. The answer is no. And if she doesn't know that, then she's living in too big a bubble. But unfortunately, of the 330 million Americans, most don't get to live in that bubble where they are protected to that degree. They'd like for a president to say that all crime, especially violent crime, is wrong and will be dealt with and there'll be consequences. He won't even say that when you have people who are mobs going down the homes of Supreme Court justices. So no wonder she doesn't want to answer that question. You know, Governor, I don't have much time left, but you know, you and I are both in politics, and I thought 
being honest with people really actually works. Going, you know what? I'm going to level with you. Yeah. Our, 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 our cities are not safe. And I'm going to do everything I can to make them safe. I got your back. I, I'm going to address this. That kind of honesty, I think, would take Joe Biden from the 39% that he sits right now in approval, maybe bump up to like 44, 45%, just a little bit of frankness with the American people. What say you? Uh, you're exactly right. People will forgive politicians yes. for making bad decisions and admitting them. They won't forgive them for not realizing how stupid their decisions are and being unwilling to admit the consequences to the citizens. Governor, don't lie to people. It works, right? That's why, <laughs> that's why you kept getting elected. Yeah. Governor Huckabee, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it.